Hello, this is Max with A1 Website Pro, and in this tutorial we're going to be talking about slides. And it's a nice little plug-in here. If we scroll to the top of healthyoldgoat.com, you can see that there's this nice little slider in here. So we're going to show how to edit that slide and how to make different slideshows. If we go over here, scroll down to slides, we see this little kick out. Uh, we'll go ahead and click on slides because we know that there's already slides in here and we can see that uh, there's different uh, pictures in here. And if you click on edit, you'll see that over here on the right where it says slideshow, it's in making kimchi. That'd be the post making kimchi. That's the slideshow. And then this would be our uh, SEO uh, entries and a picture of the image. <clears throat> so, and if we were going to go see the slideshows, we would click on slideshows over here. And these are the different slideshows and we can see that making kimchi is right here. And if we click on it, we can see we, there's the name, here's the slug. Uh, if it was a child, it, we would have a parent, like if it was the, if Maine was his parent, but it doesn't have any. Here's the description. And we should fill out the uh, Yoast WordPress SEO settings if we have that plugin installed as well. Uh, we're also going to go over the settings. And so then this will show us uh, our slideshow quality, slide height, and so on. So we're going to get started now on this plugin, how to use it, and how to set up a slideshow and put the short codes into your posts so that you can reveal them. Okay, so as far as step one is concerned, we see here in Meteor Slide Settings, <clears throat> if we go down here to Slide Height and Slide Width, we see that it's 275 pixels by 500 pixels. Now, if you wanted to change that, you could do that here. But basically, this is the global setting for the Meteor Slides. They're going to be 275 pixels wide, or high, by 500 pixels wide. And the transition style is set fade to zoom. Of course, you can try these other ones if you like. But fade zoom is the transition. And we're having it switch every one second. That means <clears throat> it's going to take one second for the transition to happen. And it's going to take one second for the slide duration to happen. And then we can have uh, the slides show navigation. We can have... Uh, a previous and next paged or both or just have no slideshow navigation at all. So st so step one is to set up our slides and we have uh, several different slides here uh, the super salad slides and we're going to create a slideshow using these six images. So the first step would be to make sure that these pictures are 275 high by 500 wide. And so we're going to make sure that these pictures are optimized that way. And we're going to, I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, what we want to do is we want to create a slideshow. So we're going to go over here and click sli select slideshows. And the name of this si slideshow we'll call Super Salad. Okay, this is going to be the Super Salad slideshow. And we'll give it a slug, Super Salad. And with a slug, make sure you put a dash or a hyphen <coughs> in there. And this is a slideshow for super salads. Okay. <clears throat> and we'll just go ahead and add it like that. And so we see here that we have our super uh, we have our slideshow name, which we call super salad. And we can see right here that there are zero slides in it. So the next thing we got to do is add our slides. So what we're going to do is click Add New. Now, I don't like the layout here, but the great thing with WordPress is we can uh, rearrange our layout. So we're going to put the slideshow right underneath there, and then we'll put our other plugin, WordPress it by uh, SEO by Yoast after that. Okay, so we'll call this first one Jerry's Super Salad. And maybe we'll not worry about the apostrophe. But once again, the slide image is reminding us that it needs to be 500 by 275. And those are pixels. 
So right now we're going to select Featured Image. And what we're going to do is uh, select Upload Files, of course, and then drag and drop this into our WordPress and let it upload. And it's going to reveal some information for us that's going to be very important. And in just a second here, we'll let it upload. And we'll see that the image now is 1600 by 1200. So we have to edit this image because we have to make it 500 by 275. So we're going to click Edit Image. And notice it took us out of our slides and now we're in media and we're in the library in the edit section. One of the first things we want to do is we want to scale down the image to the widest, like uh, uh, the widest part of the picture. Now we know that our we need to it's set at 500. And we see that this automatically changes to 375 because it's going to scale the image. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is scale it. So we're going to scale it down to 500. Now the next thing we do is we have to crop this image. So we're going to take our little mouse and put it right over the image here. And you notice as I go up, out, and in, the, the image crop, these numbers are going to change. Okay. So one of the things that you can do, because you know that the image needs to be 500 by 275, is enter the number 500 here and enter the number 275 here. And then you could take your uh, image and grab the best part of that image. And I'm thinking, yeah, that looks pretty good. It gets all of the, uh, the vegetation in there. And then we're going to go ahead and click this button here to crop the image. And then there's one more step. We need to click the Save button so that it saves that image. And now that's what our image looks like. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click Update over here. All right, so that it updates the image in our library. What we're going to do is go back to Slides and select this first link, which is Slides. And we see Jerry's Super Salad still doesn't have an image in it yet because we were editing it. We're going to select Edit, and we're going to select Set Featured Image. And we see that our image right here, if we click on it, we see right now that it's 500 by 275. And we could give it a title, a caption, an alternate text, and description. But I'm just going to go ahead and select Set Featured Image. And we could see that our image is in there. Okay. Now we have a little API published to Facebook, but we're going to uncheck that until we get our entire image slideshow done. Now one of the most important things is you want to make sure that you select the uh, slideshow that you're putting it in. We're putting it in the Super Salad slideshow, so we're going to click that. One of the things that you can do is also fill out your WordPress SEO by Yoast. That would be great for your search engine optimization. And if you were going to link this slide to any particular website or maybe a different section of your website, you would put the URL in here starting with HTTP colon backslash backslash, okay? And we'll link it to healthyoldgoat.com, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to click Publish. And then if we select Slides, we can see that, yes, it's here. Here's the link. And it was published one minute ago. Now I'm going to go ahead and add five other slides. But if you need it to repeat, just go back through this video, through this section here. And you want to add all your slides to your particular slideshow. So I'm, I'm going to go ahead and add the other ones right now, and I'm going to scale them to the height and the width that they need to be. Okay, in this next section, if, if you don't want to lose any part of your pictures, all you want to do is just scale it down instead of cropping. I mean, I'm going to show you how to do that now. And what the program will do is it'll bring the, the photograph in. It might do a little bit of cropping where it's not proportionate. But you can all, but but you'll be able to get everything in the photo that you want in the photo without having to cut anything out. And so I'm going to show you how to do that now. Okay, so in here I'm in the media library. We can also get there from slides and you know click add new like we were doing before. But I'm going to go ahead from the media library. I'm going to click add new. I'm going to go ahead and drag this one with a banana in it, and I'm going to upload that and it's going to bring it into the program. Then I'm going to select Edit, 
And then what I'm going to do is, I can see that the dimensions are 1600 by 1200, and I want to edit this image, I want to make it 500 by 275. So I'm going to click Edit the Image, and I'll have a similar uh, screen that you saw before. So I want to hit uh, Scale Image. I'm not going to do any cropping, but I, I know that if I put 500 here, this is still going to be 375. So uh, I want to put 275 here because that's what I need it. And my images are going to be, the width is going to be a little bit shorter than what it's supposed to be, but that's not going to matter because it, it's going to automatically do some cropping, but I'm going to get the full image in my picture. So I'm going to hit scale, and then I can see that it just scaled the image down. And so I'm going to go over here and click update. And after it updates, you can see that the image is now 367 by 275. And I'll go ahead and use this image in a slide uh, instead of the other one that was too big that wasn't getting all my image in it. So that's how you handle that problem. Okay, now that we have all our images imported into our WordPress, what we want to do is we want to go down to here to Slides and click on Slides. And we want to finish adding the rest of them if we hadn't already. You can see that I have here uh, Jerry Super Salad, Super Salad 2, Super Salad 3, and Super Salad 4. Okay, And I made sure that whenever I uh, added these images that I added them to the Super Salad slideshow. So one of the things that we want to do is if we click over here on Slideshows. And <clears throat> if we go to Super Salad, click Edit there and we can see that the slug is super salad okay so we want to grab that and click copy right click and copy and if we go to settings here we see that our short code is meteor slideshow okay so I'm gonna bring up a, a little notepad which I do a lot and I'm gonna hit paste I'm gonna paste super salad my short code in there and what I'll do is I'll grab this little short code Meteor slideshow, okay. Right click and copy, and the way we at the way that we put this into our um, WordPress content management system is we have a little uh, code that we use, and and this is the code, and what we want to type in is slideshow right before that closing bracket, and we want to put the equal sign and a quote. And put two quotes in there and in between the two quotes we want to grab this super salad right click click cut and right in between there we want to paste that super salad and that's all we need for that uh, slideshow to show up in our posts so I'll highlight this whole thing and I'll copy it and I'll go to post and I'll select add new and we'll call this our test post uh, we do not want to publish this to Facebook, but we do want to put in our little slideshow there. So I'll go ahead and put in that, that short code. And uh, we're not going to give this a category or anything. But I'm going to click Save Draft so we can see this in action. And um, we'll go ahead and view the post so we can see how our slideshow is going to work. And so we look here and we see that we have our navigation left and right okay and we see that it's coming up nicely and that's how you put a meteor slideshow into a post and it also works with a page as well so if you have any questions don't hesitate to call email me uh, it's max at a1website pro my website is a1websitepro.com